Teacher shortage throughout the low country and the entire nation for months. Now the federal government is stepping in to help one local college and school district with their issue. News 3's Andrew Davis is in the Low Country Newsroom with how a new grant may make a difference. Well, 1,600 teacher openings in the state of South Carolina last year, and colleges can't fill the positions as fast as educators are leaving. That's why a new $5 million grant from the Department of Education could be key to making a difference in classrooms and for students. We're really expanding our efforts to get more students into the teacher education pipeline. A pipeline that's drying up around the entire nation. While educators are leaving the profession at a rate of 8% a year in South Carolina, colleges are only providing new teachers at a 4% rate. So the Federal Department of Education is tasking USCB and Beaufort County Schools to change that with a $5 million grant. When we have the opportunity to impact so many young people by empowering and elevating the teaching profession to where it ought to be anyway, it's a huge opportunity. The grant is designed to bring more local students into the education field and bring them to one of 21 identified high-need schools in Beaufort County. Those are schools that have more than a 70% poverty rate among students. We want to be able to staff our schools with, with people that are coming through a pipeline where they're familiar with, for example, the schools and the communities within which they're going to be teaching and working. The grant doesn't stop at bringing teachers into a classroom, but helping them once they're there. A mentorship program to make sure they don't just take the job, but stay in it for the long haul. As I graduated into education, my university didn't say goodbye to me. We continued on that relationship and touching base. And USCB now is putting the groundwork, the foundation, to keep that relationship and partner with B BCSD. Now, USCB was one of only 22 schools nationwide to get this grant. It'll not only work for teachers, but also includes money for technology like 3D printers and robotics for each of those 21 high-need schools. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side.